Hey my friends, welcome to 2022. I am so grateful to have done this for coming up on almost a hundred episodes of my podcast. If you're listening or if you're watching my YouTube channel, I have way more than a hundred videos. Uh, but anyway, I am grateful. It's the new year. A lot of you might think, oh, motivational speaker, uh, mentor coach, I must be like insane into New Year's resolutions. And I hate New Year's resolutions. I have for like 10 years, pretty much ever since I actually probably became a mom. Uh, and you have so many things on your plate and it's just like, New Year's resolutions for me was just another opportunity for me to beat myself up because I didn't follow through with just another thing on my plate of all the stuff that I already have on my plate um, that I need to eat. And so I have learned over the years what I need to do to help me stay on track with uh, purpose and my life objectives and goals without labeling it and without giving myself um, an opportunity for letdown or disappointment. So if you are somebody who does not like New Year's resolutions or has a hard time setting New Year's resolutions because you don't wanna disappoint yourself, welcome to my tribe, that is so me. And what I like to do with my clients is help them little by little. So today I'm gonna give you just a couple tips and then throughout the month of January, I'm gonna be working on three specific areas that are gonna help you figure out what do you want and how are you gonna get it and how are you gonna stay consistent? So stay tuned for the month of January for that. If you don't measure it, you don't know that it's gonna grow, right? How many of you have um, stood up against a wall and got a pencil and measured somebody who's small, measured their height? And then they look the same months later, they stand against the wall and then you measure them again and they've grown. It's like, what? I have a 15 year old son who is blooming like a flower <laughs> and a 10 year old too and an 18 year old daughter. But my two boys are in that growing phase, right? And they get discouraged, especially my 15 year old. It's like, oh man, I just, I need to be taller and bigger. And uh, measuring him and, and having him actually look and see, like, dude, you've grown like an inch in two months. Hello. Um, it's really crucial, not just when you want to grow taller, but when you want to grow in your life. And let's be honest, without growth, you're not going to be truly happy. If you're not growing, you're dying, right? But sometimes growth is painful and sometimes growth, you don't know you're growing. But the secret to consistently having daily, weekly habits that you show up for yourself is measuring your progress. So instead of New Year's resolutions, I have daily habits that I walk through with my clients weekly and monthly. And you need to cheer for yourself, okay? You need, you need to celebrate the small stuff. And how do you do that if you're not measuring it? And how do you measure it? There's so many um, options. If you feel like you need someone to hold your hand, you could check out my website, camillebauer.com, and sign up for my newsletter. I send stuff out there. Um, if you want to, um, if you're listening to me on my podcast, you can hop over to YouTube. My channel's Camille Bauer. And vice versa, if you're watching on YouTube and you want to see my whole plethora of podcasts, uh, you could go to Put On Your Big Girl Pants is my podcast. Uh, and that's on Stitcher, Spotify, I mean, iTunes, you name it. It's everywhere. But anyway, if you need more personalized help, I do mentoring, coaching as well with um, individual, like one-on-one -on -one, um, Zoom meetings. So you can also see that on my website, CamilleBauer.com. You can sign up for like a three th uh, free 30-minute session with me to see if we click and if uh, me being in your tribe and helping you get through your hard and helping you grow is something that's best for you in your life. But I would be honored to do that with you um, today. We're going to talk about, though, if you're listening or watching, what's what can you take away? If you don't like New Year's resolutions, what can you do? My biggest tip is 
<clears throat> this is my little secret weapon that I love. I ordered this on Amazon. It's like a monthly planner. Um, and it also has like my week laid out. It has um, habit tracker so I can change it every week and then I can do a check mark as well as like a to-do list, right? So many times at the end of the day, you're just like, I didn't even get to what I want. And I heard a statistic the other day that we think about a negative thing 30 times more than we think about a positive. That's insane. And that goes as well with what we didn't do versus what we did do. But if you are tracking what you do, you get down at the end of the day and you're just like, I did that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I did do all these things. Even if I didn't get to do these things that I wanted to do, I still got to do the things, these other things. So measure your progress. Track what you're doing. And uh, so that would be my number one. Number two is cheer for yourself. Give yourself um, accolades and celebrate the small victories. You have to because every little inch counts. If you're running a marathon and you stop one inch before the finish line, you don't finish. That inch makes a difference. And keep inching forward and soon you're going to look back and think, wow, those inches have turned into feet, which have turned into blocks, which have turned into miles. And look at how far I've come. So celebrate those small victories. So if you're doing those two things, measuring uh, your progress and your growth, and two, you're cheering for those, you're not going to get discouraged and be like, oh man, I haven't lost X amount of pounds by this date. I'm a loser. You know, whereas if you look back and you're like, yes, I have moved my body or worked out or done these things five times this week. You're cheering for yourself and that's so powerful and so motivating and it keeps you uh, on track. So you're not just uh, looking at the end result and then beating yourself up because you're not there yet. You have to take the baby steps to get to the end result. And if you don't celebrate those baby steps, you're going to be discouraged, defeated, depressed, and you're going to want to give up and think, I don't have motivation. I don't have what I want. Well, hello, because you haven't been opening your eyes and seeing all the efforts you're doing. So take that time, measure your success, and you will see your growth. And that's in, I, I, I love plants and I have these cute succulents in my kitchen and I have these other big plants and it's like, oh my gosh, you don't think they grow if you were to look at them real time, but they do and you can see that and it's so rewarding and fulfilling just looking at something that grows from the earth, but you, you can grow, you can get better and it is only in that that we find true happiness. So I love you guys. I'm excited to talk to you next week about, hey, if, if you're like, okay, 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 but what do I want to do with my life and how am I going to get there? Um, we're going to be continuing to talk about that over the next uh, couple episodes for the month of January. So I hope you guys are doing good and I hope your new year is off to a blessed and beautiful start. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.